What is the difference between PST and OST files? Have you ever wondered about the files that store your emails in Microsoft Outlook? Today, we will break down the differences between personal storage table files and offline storage table files. Both types of files play key roles in how we manage our email data, but they serve different purposes. Personal storage table files, commonly known as PST files, are designed to store emails, contacts, calendar entries, and other data directly on your computer. These files are perfect for archiving and backing up your mailbox data. If you want to transfer your emails from one Outlook installation to another, PST files make this process easy. You can create, import, and export these files without any hassle, making them quite versatile for managing your email across different devices. On the other hand, we have offline storage table files, or OST files. These files are created when you set up an account in Outlook, especially with services like Exchange or Internet Message Access Protocol. An OST file allows you to access your emails, contacts, and calendar even when you are not connected to the Internet. Once you reconnect, the OST file automatically syncs with the server, ensuring you have the latest information. Now, let's talk about some key differences between these two file types. PST files are ideal for backing up and archiving your data, while OST files focus on providing offline access to your mailbox. When it comes to server compatibility, PST files can work with various email servers, including Exchange. In contrast, OST files are primarily tied to Exchange servers. Synchronization is another important aspect. OST files automatically sync with the server when you are connected, while PST files do not have this feature and are used as standalone storage. Both file types can support large sizes, but the limits depend on the version of Outlook you are using. In terms of practical applications, PST files shine in email backup and recovery scenarios. They allow you to restore your data from backups, which is essential if you lose access to your primary mailbox. Conversely, OST files are more about ensuring you have continuous access to your mailbox data, even when offline. If you ever encounter issues with these files, there are ways to manage and repair them. For PST files, Microsoft provides a built-in inbox repair tool to fix any corruption. For OST files, you can repair them by syncing with the server or using another repair tool. However, if the server data is also corrupted, you may need to convert the OST file to a PST file to regain access to your data. Understanding the differences between PST and OST files is important for effective email management, especially when it comes to backup and recovery. Knowing how to use these files can help you keep your email data safe and accessible.